So some good, solid and honest football talk there from Malcolm Allison, and I'm sure we all hope that the new Malcolm Allison is soon allowed back on that touchline bench where he ought to be. But next we come to our bonus match, the one we keep secret until Sunday, where we go looking for the very best goals to bring you on Sunday afternoon. And this week it's Sheffield Wednesday against Hull City at Hillsborough. A game with six goals to it uh, and one sending off as well. The pictures come from Yorkshire Television, the commentator is Keith Macklin and Sheffield Wednesday are the team in the striped shirts with black shorts. Craig. Prendergast. Gray, a good curling centre. Suddenly up, getting to it. Eustace. Oh, no! Looks like suddenly, McKechnie made a valiant effort. Suddenly it is. David Suddenly, who got two goals last week at Queen's Park Rangers. A good cross from Peter Eustace. He and McKechnie, a brave attempt to save. Got his hands to it, but it's David Suddenly. Good scores to put Sheffield Wednesday ahead. Okay. Swan getting up. Only as far as Butler. McGill for Hull City. Pearson. Pearson trying to go around Clements and it's a corner. Clements giving away the corner. So Hull City getting more into this game now. They had a pretty rough first 20 minutes when they conceded a goal. But the first surge of Wednesday pressure has abated. And it's Hull City coming back into the game. Taken by Butler. Headed. Oh, a good ever goal! And it's Pearson! Oh, I a fine effort. Pearson, the scorer. Stuart Pearson, leading scorer last season, has equalised from a beautifully flighted corner by Butler. Grummet appeared unsighted as he went up for it. So Wednesday now, five yards outside the Hull City penalty area. Chipped across, suddenly was going in for it. Clements still hovering about the penalty area, everybody going for it. It's Pearson getting it to Sisson. Sisson's a nice chip over. But Joycey off the line by McGill. In the middle. And Prendergast is high in the air. Where's he going to drop? Off the line. And it's still not clear. It's on the goal ball. What a mix up on the goal ball. That ball was in the air in eternity. And McKinney was jumping around on his line like a scalded head. This is Banks going through. Banks unchallenged as yet. Well, Wednesday has started off with such authority and looking a little shaky themselves now. That's to Fries, not a particularly good kick. Off the head of Banks to Pearson. Pearson fouled by Clements. Hull City anxious to get on with it. Jimmy McGill telling people to get up there. It's Knighton. Gray. A long one. It's a chase for Sunley. Sunley trying to get behind his man. And it's Wilkinson who gets it away. Now Kay. Coolly to McGill. Well, go right across to Butler. Hull City much steadier now, building up their attacks with more confidence. Knighton. De Vries. Knighton. To Banks. It's a measure of Hull City's revival. They're pushing more men up. That's a good cross. Home is up there, and Butler, and it's not on the line, Pearson on the line, a goal, he's done it, Butler kept that in remarkably, and Pearson waiting for it, and got it in for his second goal, so Hull City after taking a toweling in the first 20 minutes, are 2-1 up, and Pearson gets his second goal. Rodriguez, Swan. Gill's header to Butler into Knighton. Now Craig for Sheffield Wednesday, trailing by one goal. Prendergast, it's loose. It's a goal. There's the equalizer by Joyce. But Pitney put all the shot from Prendergast. And it's Joyce who follows up and makes it 2 2. Craig. Sisson, Sisson is going to have to gallop after that. 
Pearson has joined him and it's Sisson who charges Pearson off the ball. Pearson asked the linesman if that wasn't illegal. The linesman apparently has drawn the referee's attention to something. Mr. Ferguson calling Mr. Q over. Perhaps words were spoken. Now one wonders whether the notebook will come out now. No. Yes, yes, and it's Stuart Pearson. Pearson is going to be booked. The linesman drew his attention. This, this was probably the incident where Pearson was asking for a, uh, a foul and spoke to the linesman. According to the table, continued counting to referees on the second. Well, this could be a sensation. Stuart Pearson's he could be going off for arguing. Ken Knighton and the Hull City players are going across to talk to Mr. Q. It looks as if sensation. Stuart Pearson has been sent off. John K telling Ken Knighton to go cool down. Or Knighton will go as well. If Knighton persists in arguing, he could go as well. And Stuart Pearson has been sent off the field, gets an encouraging back from Peter Rodriguez. That surely can only be for deliberate arguing with the referee after first of all speaking to the linesman. McGill wanting someone to come to this ball. Craig. McGill. Now Lord again for McGill. Good running this by Hull. Knighton's on the left. But Swan hits it fairly framing the way of McGill and Craig brings it away. Joycey. Brian Joyce a shot! A goal! A beautiful goal by Joyce! From outside the penalty area! Magnificently worked! He worked the position himself, put inside, hit the ball, and McKechnie got his fingers to the ball, and Ian McKechnie got his hands to it, but couldn't keep it out. And Hull City's 10 men have finally given away with 10 minutes remaining. Systems for Wednesday now as they pile it on. Suddenly, down goes Sunley, penalty it is, inside the area, Billy Wilkinson on Adam Walker down, Wilkinson understandably unhappy, but there's no point in arguing with referee Mr. Q. So Tommy Craig will take the penalty, and this could be two goals in a minute, and 4-2 for Wednesday. Sympathy for Billy Wilkinson, that tackle was right on the edge of the area, or just inside, Craig to take it. 4-2. So within a minute, Hull City's 10 men have gone from 2-2 to 